All right, people, so today I want a wrench, but unfortunately I'm out here sweating like an animal here. And sad day, sad day for me today. All right, yesterday we had a storm that went through here and it ripped shit apart here, dude. Ripped, ripped stuff apart. Let me bring you in here closer. Man, after two or three years having that persimmons tree here, and it, it just started doing well this year. It started holding on to three persimmons. All right. I had a nice Fuyu persimmons tree here. It was the branches that I wanted. It was just perfect. It was like, it was my style. All right. It would have been perfect. It would have grown. It could have filled out. It would have given me some shade here. But forget about all that cosmetic shit. For me, is the fruit. All right. I love the persimmons fruit. All right. I love the Fuyu one. All right. But look at this. It's gone. It got ripped off, ripped out of here with the wind. All this shit was all ripped up. Look, it was, it, was, it was pretty bad. Everything was sideways. This guy was sideways. All right, I'm just gonna fill it in, put some compost in here. It's hot out. I don't wanna, it's dry, everything is dry. I don't wanna just wet it yet. I'm probably gonna give it water this evening. But yeah, a lot of stuff was ripped up upside down i'm over here fixing my fig trees that are planted in ground all right a lot of them are lopsided a lot of them lost branches all right this is here is lopsided i got to straighten this out we had this all over the place all over the place i had to fix this one this is my neighbor that passed away all right, this is uh, his fig tree that I have growing here in the back. All right, I started it as a little cutting, and it, and it lived. This one here is Carlos's fig tree, all right, that I started as a cutting as well. It's doing well, but I lost a big branch, and I had figs on it, so we lost it. So, but since it's a nice branch, I put it in the ground over there in the shade to see if it roots. I want to, Carlos's fig tree is definitely a good one. It's a producer. It's got figs everywhere. And this one here I had to fix too. This one here I almost lost a huge branch. I just had to put it on a post. I put a thick pole here. You know? Smashed it into the ground. I have it tied up here. And I almost lost the, these two. These two here. Almost lost them. They kind of, kind of twisted. I hope it I hope it will uh repair itself. And that's it. So yeah, pretty bad. Man, these fig trees give us such a beautiful smell. I love that smell of these leaves. I also love green tea. Not green tea, but tea from these leaves. All right, if you dry these leaves, if you dry them up, you can make tea out of it, man. It's amazing. It's like a heavy-duty-ass green tea. If you guys have ever had green tea or tried it, fig tea leaf, fig leaf tea is like green tea on steroids, man. Shit's no joke. All right. This is where I put one of the branches. It's really long. It goes deep. I'm going to hope that it roots itself. All right. It's kind of late. We're in August. Uh, I doubt if I'll have any luck, but I'm going to have it here. Hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll root itself. But yeah, man, fucking sucks. Look at that shit. My fucking, I had, I had the nicest freaking persimmon tree. It's gone. It's gone. Unbelievable. This umbrella flew away. I was just over here. This is gone. This was just like twisted. I went I twisted it back and it's gone. It's, you know. This is my olive tree tipped over. Yeah. This tipped over here. My Celeste tree. What? She's doing good. Look at my peppers. Right? And then my ghost peppers. Look at these guys. These things are like ugly motherfuckers. They look like trolls. Even this guy here is on it is is struggling. We're sideways. Super dry. Oh man. Alright. Let me fix this guy here. Alright, people, so I got a little time now. Free. Just a couple hours, then I got to pick up my daughter. 
Uh, wish I had more time. Wasted a lot of time out there at my trees, but damn storm messed everything up. So check this out. Let's get right to it. I said I, I wasn't going to customize anything, but yes, we're going to customize a few things. Nothing is ever direct bolt on with me. Um, if I would just use the real stock plate, it would be bolt on one, two, three. You get uh, everything that you need with the um, RC Max engine kit for your Primal Dragster, you know? So, but we got a little something different here. We got some hard work here and some beautiful work. We're trying out a new setup, all right? This is KDT Innovations uh, setup. Now, for those of you that want a stronger rear, stronger diff uh, setup, Primal RC has a different version besides the stock version that you guys know. All right, so these are the stock tubes, and then you have this. All right, I put tubes on mine, and this is super strong because, look, not a single wear and tear, three years old. All right, it's durable as hell, and it's been proven. People have twins to these without the tubes, and they're holding up fine, okay, just to give you a heads up. Um, but I have to go different. I want to try different. Uh, so before I show you this and talk about this, Primal has their own version of heavy duty. If you do want to, if you feel like you need to replace these, all right, or do something, they have their own version. And I think they're going on a different version as well in the future. So look into that if you want. Now, what I got here is something completely different, but similar. Uh, actually complete different plate. This plate here was made out of 7075 aluminum. Here's KDT Innovations. It's wide. All right, so supposedly this plate here, first off, it's super strong. It's like, it's really strong and it's very, it's thick and it's no joke. All right, uh, let me show you here. Okay, see that? Just to give you an idea. All right, just to give you guys an idea. Uh, yes, you can use this, but I'm just doing something different. All right, this was hard work involved, something different. All right. So. Okay, so, again, uh, Primal has their own version, all right, their own different upgraded setup that you could check out for yourselves. But this one here, <laughs> this one here is no joke, all right? What we got here is some special metal axles, kid. This metal here is what they use to make samurai swords, kid. Yes. These axles here is the same metal that people can build some mother effing samurai swords, kid. So I'm all about that shit. Swords and axes, bro. If I hear that, you know I'm not, I love my hatchets, my axes. So I gotta have that shit. All right, so that's some special steel. This is just testing, testing out, testing and see how things go. All right, I did not assemble this. Arnold assemble this setup for me all right so i'm not gonna even take this apart i don't even know what was done i'm just gonna go keep going forward all right and that's it so definitely super strong let's see what happens i'm also using different hubs all right um i also have some special hubs made for me if i need weight so these are the stock ones right not stock but irps Okay, I actually had to drill them out to make them fit better. I had to mess around with them a little bit. And then I have a custom one made for me. I had a brass, kid. Brass. And this has got some weight, son. This has got some weight to it. So if I need some more traction, a little more weight. What you know about your brass hub, son? What? Brass. No joke right here. Got some weight, though. They're heavy. It's heavy, man. So, so uh, just to... Uh, you got your lightweight, and then you got your brass hubs. All right, so 
I got options, kid. Options. And I also appreciate that. That was a beautiful job. Um, yeah, so this is, I love this. And also, if I ever want to do a twin engine, boom. I could fit a twin en engine here like a gentleman. And that big bore is going to go right at home. Very nice here, son. Very nice. All right. That's it. And I, now I got some more weight, too. This is all... I need weight for the back. I want traction, best traction possible. You know, a lot of people like to lighten that shit up. Hell with that. I want to add weight, son. I want the stakes. You know, I want the stakes, bro. So, look at that. This ain't no sportsman class. I want the stakes. Believe me, I'm going to do a sportsman. I'll, I, I, and I'll go right on a diet with my, with my sportsman class. Trust me. All right, sportsman class is going to be the most fun. Again, I can't wait. I have so much to do with this, but I'm really can't wait for my sportsman. And that's going to be the easiest, the most fun. I can't wait, but I got to complete this. This is my more work. All right, big bore, extreme class. You got to put in more work. All right. Uh, this, I have paid no attention to it. It is the same. I haven't done nothing. I have no time for this now. You understand? So that's the problem. So... I gotta get a start grinding, sanding some of this carbon fiber down because this does not fit accurately. All right, so you see that? It does not fit. So now I'm gonna have to start grinding that out, shaping that to fit this. And that's gonna go to here. Yeah, so we got, we got, a, we got some sanding to do. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs. I'm gonna use my sand disc. I'm gonna start shaving this little by little. All right, so I'll stay tuned. Okay, I just got two bolts on right now. All right, so it looks like I gotta shave all this. I'm gonna shave here. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark this and then shave it outside and see how it goes from there. All right, so that's what I'm gonna shave. I think I'm gonna have to shave this as well. But before I do that, I'm, I'm just gonna shave this, this, and see, it. hopefully it'll fit. If not, then I'm gonna have to shave that. Just gonna suck, cause I'm gonna have to probably most likely disconnect this. That's it, yeah, so let's get busy. Man, super, super light. That sucker there has got some weight to it, but we're gonna need it. If anyone is interested in something like this, a custom jammy like this, heavy duty quality here, uh, let me know. All right, kind of hard to get. This is just a few of them made, so. And just to let you guys know, I do not have a locker here. There is a diff here. It's not the diff I wanted. It's a turtle racing diff. All right. The innovative RCs were sold out at Track Day Hobby. So, and you couldn't get them. But uh, they're in now. I'm going to go pick them up. But it's too late. So I'm going to use the turtle racing one. Also, to give you guys just a heads up. I did the turtle racing one on here as well. Um, and I had issues putting the King Motor Spider Gears in there. So I used the HPI diffs, Spider Gears. Well, now it's almost impossible to get HPI spider gears. So, King Motor spider gears will work. King Motor diff spider gears, if you sand them down, I don't have this, I had sandpaper here somewhere. Which one did I use? Uh, what the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. So, I used, so you know those metal squares? the metal parts, all right? You have to sand each corner. There's four corners to them. So so put it, I use this. I put it down, hold the square, flush, flat. Sand the shit out of it. Go back and forth, back and forth until it gets hot. Switch it around, do that side. Switch it around, do that side. Do all four sides. It will fit perfectly in the turtle racing diff. 
just in case you you guys uh, come across that problem. All right. Most of you guys are probably going to run lockers, but if you have to run diffs, again, diffs is a good idea to use if a track is shitty or, or if you have an issue of going straight. The diff will help you go straight. You understand? So. Yeah, so what am I going to do? We got whiz wheels, probably a sanding disc. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what the carbon fiber likes. Actually, actually switch a plant. I got some nice bearing tools here, bits. All right, I can port heads and all types of shit with this, right? But I think it's overkill. Let me try some of these cheaper ones. All right, I have these cheaper ones that's been sitting here for a while. Let me see if this will work. If it works, then this is some cheaper ones. I think this guy right here would be good enough. This is a good one, too. Maybe this one here would be good enough. But, again, I got all these here sitting around. Let me see if this shit works. You know? I'll put on a different tool, and I'll try to see if we can get that, follow this line. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let me use this guy here. All right, people, so if you have to do this, wear a mask. I'm looking for, where the hell did I put my mask? Wear a mask because the shit stinks. You don't want to breathe that dust. And put some glasses on, all right? I switch to a bigger one. Just gonna clean the edges with some scotch right. People, look at this. Look at this. Sir. What? The holes, they align? Zer. Zanaka Fazer. Look at that fatty, bro. Huh? Look at that belly. Look at that belly on her. It's got a belly, son. A belly. Look at that fatty, kid. What? Sir. Yep. That's it, kid. All right, just lock tightening everything. I threw a little bit of grease in the diff. Lock tighten all these screws. Swimming this shit. All right, people, let me bring you in here. Over here, getting this mounted up. Everything is aligning great. And I'm up to this part here. This is the one I had an issue before, but we lined up great. Let me put this guy in here. Awesome. Damn, this thing is gonna be super wide. So these are adjustable, so I'm gonna adjust them. I'm not gonna have it this wide. One day in the future, maybe, if I throw a two-speed, put a longer lay shaft, and if I wanna run four inch, We'll see. I can always adjust. All right. So, yeah, good shit, man. We're getting there. Just lock tighting away, wrenching away.
All right, people, all good. Now I'm gonna take a little break. I gotta go pick up my daughter. And then if I have time later, I gotta start installing this engine. Start bolting her up. Gotta get that heart on here, you know? Gotta put that heart. This thing needs to be, needs to come to life. Yeah, that's it, man. I'm happy with it so far. Locked tight at everything, and that's it. All right, so I'm sorry if I don't get back to you guys on the Instagram thing. I'm just too busy, guys. I'll get to you little by little or one at a time, but I just don't have time, bro. And I, I, then I go, I, then I fall back on my YouTube. So if you want to contact me, just go to the YouTube thing, man. Go to the comments. That's the only thing I could do. All right, because I'm always on there. All right, that's it. I'm just too busy right now. There's people who wanna send me messages, send me this, send me that. And um, I, I love that, it's cool and everything, but I just don't have time to go over all of them. It's, it's, just, it's impossible, people. I hope you guys understand that. But um, we'll get there. If I wasn't so busy, if I didn't have all these things going on and running out of time and dates coming up, events coming up, that's a different story, man. I'd be all contacting everybody. I'd be getting back to all everyone, you understand? But I'm like, I, I, I got a list of people's names there, friends of mine that I got to make sure they get their stuff. You know, I'm helping not just doing my own thing, but I, I have other people that I'm working with. So anyways, you guys take care. See you in the next video. Man, I love this, man. Look at this. This is a sweet plate, man. Damn. All right. Look at that ass.